Hi, welcome to my bedroom floor. This is a very special video because we're going to be Marie Kondoing my sex toys. Not organized at all. This is just far too scary to go anywhere near my genitals. This goes on it. We're just going to get all of the lube. Never mind, I'm keeping this. This is sparking joy. It's sparking joy. Everyone has been like obsessing over Marie Kondo and like home organizing and all of this kind of stuff. I'm like, I'm fine. I don't need to do that. I am pretty good about like organizing my clothes and my books and I'm always giving stuff away to the charity shops. However, there is one area of my life which is not organized, my sex toys. So full disclaimer, as someone who makes videos about sex and relationships on the internet, over the years I have been sent many sex toys. So most of these sex toys I will not have paid for. Also as another point of interest for full transparency, I currently have an affiliate code with Love Honey, who some of these sex toys are from, um, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. And I've done you guys a solid and there is 20% off on that code if you spend over 50 pounds, I think it is. So there you go. I think that's all of the hashtag ad, hashtag spawn disclaimers that I need to do. So my understanding is the first thing in the Marie Kondo method that you have to do is like sit in silence and close your eyes and kind of like thank the house. But we're not doing a big house clean, we're just doing sex toys. So should I just like thank sex toys or like pray to the sex toys? I'm not entirely sure. Let's just do that for a second now. Okay, I can't, I feel stupid. The next thing that you have to do is take all of the things from that category and put it into one place. Here it is. <laughs> I, I told you this is ridiculous. It is not organized. Special easy, easy access drawer of toys. I'm also going to include sexy lingerie in this general category and that is in the drawer. Hashtag gifted, hashtag freebie, hashtag Jesus Christ, why do I have so many? How do we start? We have to pick up each thing and ask, I have to ask myself if it sparks joy and then we're gonna put things in a keep and a throwaway pile. I think I need to figure out um, what you're supposed to do with sex toys that you don't want anymore. Like how do you throw them away? Because most of these will have been used at least once. There might be a few in here actually that haven't been used and are still in packaging. And in that case, I could give them to friends. So friends, holler at me if you want any sex toys. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start with these ones. So we have um, pink blindfold. This is actually a sleep mask that I got at an airport, but it does the same job. Uh, lube, this one's almost empty, so we're keeping that and we're gonna finish that off. Oh yeah, this. This sparks joy. And do you know why it sparks joy? It's because it's just in a little container so I can take this traveling with me. And what it is, is just a very simple bullet vibrator and um, USB charger thing. So this, oh, this sparks a huge amount of joy. This also huge amount of joy. This is the Pro Satisfier 2 and this basically goes on your clit and then it, it it's like creates like a suction. Yeah, that's good. We have some handcuffs, like Velcro soft ones. Sparks Joy, Sparks Joy. These are the Ann Summers Buzz Fresh. Oh, I bought these with my own money. These weren't gifted, um, but they're like sex toy cleaner. Do we only have two left? Oh, oh dear. And then what is this? This looks like a fancy one that I probably haven't used and have put in this box to be like, Use this. Does it spark joy? I mean, it feels amazing. It does spark joy. I mean, are all of these gonna spark joy? <laughs> okay, this is another blindfold. I like this one, it's gold. Right, oh, oh my God. I'm already stressed. <laughs> uh -huh. These are stressing me out having them like in my crotch area. So we're gonna move them and we're gonna come to them at the end. This is like um, a penis masturbator thing. This is a, um, it's like a disposable thing. So it's one use only. So this very much sparks joy. Okay, <laughs> Hannah, why are there 
glasses in your sex toy um, box? I'm not answering that. But they spark joy. That's all I'll say. <laughs> right, we've got boxes of condoms. That's all very much sparking joy. This is a deck of just regular playing cards. It's not even a sex game. It's like actually got, you know, like Ace, Jack, King, Queen and all, all of that jazz. Um, but ancient Greek sex positions. And I bought these when I was in Greece. Um, this 100% sparks joy for me personally. <laughs> I don't think I can show this on YouTube. Ariel, Ariel, with that close up, blur, blur it, blur it out. Oh my God, this, this is 100% not appropriate for YouTube. Maybe, maybe these shouldn't go in the sex cupboard because we have, um, we've got like all of the board games and card games that we have. So maybe I'll just put it there. Like we have a poker set. Maybe I'll include this in the poker set that we have. Pina colada bath based lube cocktail edition like what does that even mean i don't really have baths so this doesn't really spark joy this is the head or like a potential add-on to a wand now where is the wand ha -ha! here is the wand this is just far too scary to go anywhere near my genitals but as like a oh you know a back massager this sparks joy but this doesn't don't care about that one of the other things i have in here I say I'm organized and then this happens. This is like the sex equivalent of like all of your cables being messy. But this like is meant to go under your bed and then this goes on it. But basically you can have like hands in handcuffs and legs in ankle cuffs. And this sparks joy because it's not something that I've ever done before. So I'm interested. I'm intrigued, I'm very intrigued. <sighs> okay, so I found some bullet vibrators still in their packaging, unused. Seeing as I already have a bullet vibrator that sparks a lot of joy, um, these these can go. So again, friends, get in touch. Unused sex toys, go in, go in once. This is taking a long time. This is a mystery vibe. This has been sent to me. And again, haven't gotten round to using it yet, but I really want to because I've downloaded the app um, because you can control this thing through an app. Look at this. Like, and it like bends. It's got like so many different like hinges on it. This is the other thing that sparks joy for me. It's like when sex toys come in like proper, proper storage packaging. I'm like, yes, I'm in it. So I really need to get better at my sex toy storage. I just need a better storage system where I can like actually see everything in here. I need to get like um, dividers. Another blindfold. And another blindfold. I think this orange one is a bit like, ugh, now. So this can go. This one can also go. I don't even think this is a sex toy. I think it's a massager. This would be so much better if someone else was doing it. But yes, sparking joy. This sparks loads of joy just because of how silly it is. So it's like a butt plug. But obviously this fluffy bit sticks out of your butt. But with all of the problems I'm having with my arsehole at the moment, I um, <laughs> don't really want to put this inside me but I love the idea of putting it inside me. Like, I just want to have a little cute bunny tail. But sparking joy, but maybe it'll end up sparking despair because I won't be able to use it and I'll be really sad. This thing, this is another penis one. This doesn't spark joy. Um, as much as this bad boy, this, oh. This is the, what is this one? This is the Tenga like flip hole zero. This is also hashtag gifted by Tenga. If you have a penis, oh my God, would recommend. I mean, obviously can't personally recommend, but I can personally recommend this bad boy. This is the one with motors in it as well. So it vibrates. <laughs> this is just a little feather tickler. Hmm. Sparking joy. Um, this is just a bag to put things in. An organization sparks joy in me. So maybe I'll keep the bag and we'll see if we can fit anything in that. So we have a cock ring. To be honest, I've experimented with cock rings many times and I can never get it right. So doesn't spark joy. This isn't a sex toy. This is a portable charger. <laughs> this is just a great simple thing, but I think it's run its course. And also it doesn't have its own bag, which doesn't spark joy. That does not spark joy. Oh wait, shit, do you know what I've been, I've been supposed to thanking things? That's the Marie Kondo way. Thank you. I, to be honest, all of those other things like I've gotten rid of, I haven't 
used. Whereas this thing, thank you, thank you, thank you. We've already established that lube sparks joy. So we're just going to get all of the lube out of the, of the box. This is a cherry flavored lube. And I know that you're not just supposed to eat lube like, but mm. Mm. what is this? This is another, oh, this is another feather thing. Which one sparks more joy? This, the black one, the black one sparks more joy. Thank you, purple one, thank you. Oh, see, the, ooh, looks like, to me anyway, what this looks like is pig's feet or a pig's nose, I don't know. It looks, <laughs> this I don't think sparks a huge amount of joy for me personally, but if I remember it sparks a lot of joy for my partner. So we're gonna keep this and I'm gonna see if he's still into it. So this is the Wee Vibe and it's like this. Oh. <laughs> It's like this, so you can like have it externally, but then you can also like external and internal at the same time. Um, and that thing that fell out is a remote control. And this is why I need better storage because you know, this is the, the, the Marie Kondo thing is all about like um, when you reorganize your space and when you reorganize your stuff, you have it, um, in a way that you can see everything that you have. So you therefore like go to use them more um, and you don't like forget about things like tucked under the bed or like in the back of your wardrobe or whatever. Okay, oh, this sparks joy and it also hasn't been used. It's like an over the door thing. So you put this over your door and then you close the door shut. And then so that weight hangs down and then you can attach handcuffs dun, 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 to, to that. See what I mean? See what I mean? Sparking joy. What's in here? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So this is another one of those like suctiony ones. Suction technology. And I, I do wanna see what else is out there. Oh, see this is another one with that same like suction technology. But I love how small this is and I love this color. Um, and it's magnetic. Okay, next. Oh yes, this one sparks joy. Woo! Okay, so this is a fancy Lello rabbit. See, rabbits have never really done it for me, so maybe I'm gonna have to say a no spark of joy, but I always feel like you should at least own one. Maybe I should, I just need to be brutal and just like get rid of the rabbit. Oh! <gasps> Okay, no, never mind. Never mind, I'm keeping this. This is sparking joy. It's sparking joy. Look how it moves. <laughs> that is sparking a whole bunch of joy in my head right now. Oh, so we've got a butt plug. We've got another um, like thing for your butt that's like a prostate massager. And then we have some anal beads. Um, and to be honest, these do spark joy. That is it for the sex toys. Right, so now the final part of Marie Kondo is reorganizing. So maybe what I need to do is in my bedside table, like favorites thing, I need to switch out things that are in there. So which were the ones that I was excited to try? It was the other suctiony things. This thing also hasn't been tried, but is it like, you don't spot them, whatever. Oh my God, it's so refreshing. Like at the beginning, I wasn't prepared to throw that away. And now I'm just like, Pfft. we're gonna swap out the blindfold. We're gonna have the gold blindfold. We're gonna put in a tickler. Oh, this is so much fun. So you can go in there, boom. Right, and now everything else needs to get organized. We're gonna roughly split it into like actual like sex toys and then like lube and then like accessories and stuff. Lubricants. And we've got sex toy cleaners. And we've got condoms. Okay, I've decided that this doesn't spark joy, whatever. We don't need an extra thing. And now we just need to somehow fit in all of these like massive things. Oh my God, guys, I'm so happy. Oh, look at this box. Doesn't this look so much better than before? This is sparking so much joy. Thank you, Marie Kondo. Ah, he days. Now this is already a really long video, so I'm not going to talk you through each of these like lingerie pieces. Again, the reason why I have a lot of them is because I get sent them. Ariel, my editor, is going to 
speed this all up to funny or sexy music, who knows, and I'm not going to talk to you. And we're gonna just like get through this now. I'm gonna see if they spark joy. Ooh, right. We did it. I just want to show you um, how much stuff I'm getting rid of. There it is, this massive pile of stuff. Woo, feels so liberating. Oh, thank you, Marie Kondo, for this opportunity. Thank you for existing. Thank you for writing your book that I haven't read. Thank you for making the Netflix show. Thank you for getting everyone really excited about decluttering an organization because, whoo, boy do I love that. Thank you all for watching this ridiculous video. Don't forget that I have a Love Honey uh, discount code for 20% off. If you're interested, the link to that is in the description and it's an affiliate link, so I get a small commission um, off any purchases made through it. Please give this video a th Oh my God, I forgot to mention that the day that this video comes out, it's my birthday. I'm 27 years old today, so. Wish me a happy birthday, goddammit, and use my affiliate link as a birthday present. <laughs> oh wait, no! What I really want as a birthday present is for you to um, donate. Oh my god, this is such a weird segue. For my birthday, I'm having some friends over and we're doing a charity Harry Potter film marathon. So we're gonna try and watch all eight Harry Potter films and we're gonna be raising money for the Harry Potter Alliance, which I'll leave links to in the description. So, so scrap buying sex toys. If you want to, please do donate. Also, if you are free this weekend, please watch along with us. I'm going to be posting on my Twitter and on my Instagram the times that we're going to be watching each film. Happy tidying and happy charity and happy activism and happy Harry Potter and happy birthday to me. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I would also just generally love to hear in the comments your thoughts on Marie Kondo and decluttering. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every week. And I'll see you soon. Bye.